Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to use uh, a color hold. Now a color hold is a technique uh, artists use on their drawings to change the color of the line art. Typically, your line art is in black, and so uh, I'm just gonna create a, color, a layer here. And so um, you might have a character who has some really fancy clothes um, and you want to uh, you want to change uh, the color of his clothes so you'll have um, oops I accidentally collect click the whole layer on that I meant to grab a pen and so uh, so he'll have like let's say a red shirt or whatever and so the uh, the black lines on his shirt you don't want it to be black because it, it just the contrast between black and red is too too much what you want is probably a darker red and so you want the sh the line art of the shirt to be uh, a darker color that would complement the flat color of the shirt and so that's um, uh, called uh, a color hold but you you don't uh, want to grab a red pin and uh, draw over your black lines because then it'll ruin your whole ink layer so or your line work um, so there is a tool in Clip Studio Paint that allows you to change the line art the color of your line art without actually uh, messing up your line art layer so um, I have two layers already drawn here so I have this here so I have this guy here, he has this uh, fancy scarf with um, some uh, design on it, and then uh, a leaf here. Uh, so here is the flat color. So I have this layer here called line or inks, and then I have a layer right below it called um, flat colors. So th this is the flat colors of the uh, particular items. Um, so what I want to do is so you can see here this uh, orange goldish uh, scarf um, the black lines really um, are they contrast way too much um, so what I want is a, 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 a color closer to what the the flat color of the scarf is so I'm just gonna sample the, the color here I want something maybe a darker color for these uh, designs here uh, of the scarf so I'm just gonna select a darker color and so instead of uh, going over my line art and ruining that what I'm going to do is create a new layer and let me call this layer uh, color hold all right so that's color hold and so um, what you want to do next is you come up here to where these uh, two circles, one uh, overlapping another, and it's uh, black in the center. It's called Clip at Layer Below. You want to click that, and you should see a, uh, a red color bar next to your color hold layer, or some colored bar next to your uh, color hold layer. And so what this allows is for you to uh, pretty much color over uh, your line art. Um, so I've already have a color selected. I'm just going to grab a pin, and that's uh, a big enough uh, 100 pixels. And so now anything I color over will change the color of the line art. Now, this does not affect my ink or line layer in fact if I make the color hold blind again um, you can see it's still black but uh, the color hold layer uh, anything I color over uh, will change the color now you want to make sure that your color hold layer is directly above your line inks um, you'll see that if I were to create another layer in between, you will see that it, it now disappears. Um, 
even though I have my color blind color hold layer is visible and my line ink layer is also visible because because there's a, a layer in between um, it this color hold layer does not affect this line so it has to be directly below it in fact if I were to draw something on this layer in between you will see see that's that's everywhere I colored on my color hold layer see that this uh, brown is actually what's on the color hold layer and this black area here is what's in this in between layer that I put so if I were to delete this then it just goes back to um, my color only affecting my line art so now I don't want uh, oops see I'm in the line layer go to my color hold and I can erase the color because I don't want the guy's face I just wanted his scarf right okay so uh, let me sample that color again and there you go you can also pick a little bit darker color and then you can uh, you know just for shadow a little bit darker so it really emphasizes the shadow okay something like that so that's how you do a color hold now you can also use um, your gradient tool uh, to do color a color hold so if you look at this leaf here uh, I'm gonna go to my gradient tool and I'm just gonna pick this uh, sunset gold now the thing about this though is that if I'll show you here if you use the gradient tool let's say I want to change the the color of the line art for this uh, leaf here if you just do if you just use the gradient tool you'll see that everything changed um, and that's because if you come up here to the preview window window you'll see that uh, the gradient tool affected the whole color hold layer um, and that's not what we want so I'm just gonna back out and so what you want to do before you use a gradient tool um, make sure you select the area where the line work is that you want affected um, and so now you can come to your gradient tool use your gradient tool and that's it so everything else is left alone and only the area you selected is affected um, see that would work pretty good for a, a fire if you had a fire um, let me go back and let me uh, pick something in the green in fact let me go to the, the flat color let me pick something dark maybe and before I do that let me erase the gradient and then let me let me go to this uh, foreground to transparency so I have a darker green and let me see what this looks like so that's pretty cool you can um, let me go a little bit longer so something like that so it goes from kind of a black to a really green you can probably say that this part of the leaf here is under shadow or something so you can do a lot of cool tricks um, but again if you're gonna use the gradient um, make sure that uh, you select the area otherwise the, ho the whole layer will be uh, colored um, so yeah that's how uh, you can use the uh, this option here clip at layer below to do a color hold on your artwork um, so I hope you guys found this informative. I uh, hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't uh, subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have some other Clip Studio Paint tutorial videos in my uh, playlist. So if you go to my uh, the playlist tab on my channel, you can see more Clip Studio Paint tutorials there. I really appreciate you guys watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one.